So let me first run this uh, at the moment. Basically starting the drive service and this is saying uh, using the drive service uh, run this uh, function list files and folders and it's saying maximum size uh, you know like uh, items to be returned in one page is 100 and then I want to bring uh, you know uh, only one page okay Re load one page so I'm gonna run this now it returned me all the files in that particular uh, in the particular user drive. So these are all the IDs, the names, parent ID, created time, modified time. So there are more attributes now. Uh, the size, meme type, uh, you can query using all this information. And then on by me and here it should be, um, there should be some shared files. So these are shared files. So it's on by me is false, shared it true. And then as you can see here, and if there are any files in trash, then you'll be able to see here. This is the web content link, which you can directly share. Uh, you know, it will automatically download uh, the file if you open this link. So for example, uh, if you go here, uh, this is because there are multiple accounts located here in this particular um, Chrome. That's why I'm not able to access. But if you only have one account, then it, it should automatically download. And then this is the file to, you know, like uh, to view. Okay. And then if there are any description, it should pull the information here. So for example, um, let me add a description. <clears throat> this is a sample description. Okay. So if I refresh this now, it says this is some sample description. Okay. So it will pull that information as well. Like I said in the beginning, uh, earlier we only had like a default of 100 um, in a free version, but here there is no limit as such. You can bring in as much as possible. Uh, at the moment, I don't have enough file here to demonstrate that, but um, so let's say that I put in lots of examples here. For example, if you have, like, let's say, the 4,000 files, um, you can specify about 900 to 1,000 here to be in one page. And then you can specify four pages, five pages, and so on. So you can once the you know like it will keep uh, gathering all the files needed to display in uh, pull in back here for you. So uh, for example, if you specify nine hundred here, and then you run this, it will bring you know like up to nine hundred in one page. It will try to uh, gather that in that that data, and then it will do it. For, at least for four times as long as it returns the data it's gonna go forward for multiple page okay um, and then once it brings that information it's gonna you know like check if there is data if it is it's gonna clear this data and then these are the headers it just prints that headings okay and then this part is basically uh, printing the headers this is the array of all the strings and then this part is basically uh transposing the array that has been returned here and then printing it to uh a2 range a2 okay um again if you want to loop through each item you can use this uh alternate uh method here as well so for example if i remove this and run this now it'll print all the information here as well so in case you're not using Excel, you let's say that you're trying this in Access database, uh, you can print this information, and populate this, maybe in a tree view in, in your database tables. Okay, now more examples on, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, on using the query. Uh, so if you go to this page, there will be lots of examples that you can utilize. Um, So these are all the, you know, like how you want to query uh, the files uh, in Google Drive, okay? So let me demonstrate some of them. First is this in parent. So um, let's say that you want to pull in all the files in a folder. So for example, in a data folder, and then we have, we have data folder, we have uh, expense data, we have documents. So, and then others. 
So let's say that we want to bring in all the files in this particular folder only. You can specify, uh, you can use this query. Okay, so I'm saying, okay, bring in all the files uh, where this particular ID is the parent. Okay, so I'm um, gonna disable this. This is the query execution example um, saying that the max page, page size is gonna be 100 and then total page to query is this one and then query example. Okay, so similarly, like if you have more files that you're expecting to return, you can specify more here. I'm gonna run this now and then now as you can see, these are all in the same parent and these are the files in that folder. Okay. Um, let's try another example now if you want to bring in a specific meme type file type by this you can query as well um, if you want to uh, try querying you know like specific email id you can also do that yeah so these are two files where this particular email id user id has uh, a right access to the file okay um, so it can be useful and this one, you can directly find if there is any files which is shared with me, and maybe the name is this. Yeah, so it, it will return you the data if it is available. Share with me, and the name contains this. So apparently there's no file like this. Uh, let, me, let me try another example. In fact, let me. So again, this is a, this is the same example. Um, you can also query by modified time. Just remember that this is all based on UTC uh, time zone. So just uh, be mindful of that. If you want to find, you know, like file specific to the name, uh, you can directly use this. So for example, earlier I was trying to find uh, VB course this one uh, you can specify the, the, the name is equal to this so lookup id uh, function uses this query basically where you know you specify a name and then it pulls the id you know using this uh, table information so let's try this yeah so it returned two files with the same uh, with the same name okay um and then and then this one here you can filter out by meme type and then basically example of where you can query two two types uh where the meme type is uh a folder and then it's located in trash okay so that will be pretty much uh on the listing all the files and folders if you have any question again please comment or reach out to me uh, and then this is example of, uh, you know, more information about this particular function. And this one is again, using this particular function, which is list files and folders. This is all list files and folders. So when we call the lookup object ID by name, uh, it, you pass the name of the file. And then this query basically, you know, like try to find the file. So if there are more than one file with the same name then it says that there are more than one file um, so if you have to you know like query uh, by applying a better filter this is where you're gonna come and update uh, this particular function